Hello everyone and welcome to my first NaNoWriMo writing vlog. I hope NaNo is going really well for everybody. We're just going to write for the next few days. I don't know, I thought about making like weekly NaNo vlogs, which they're gonna come out I think weekly, but if I'm being honest, it is November 5th. We're just gonna vlog until I feel like I have enough footage. So I'm gonna give a quick little update on how NaNo is going so far. But before I do, just a little quick little refresher in case you didn't watch my last video where I pretty much talked about my goals for November slash NaNo or whatever you want to call it but I am not really super strict on a word count like I'm not trying to hit 50k 60k I don't really care how many K I'm trying to get to a certain point in my book and that is near ish the climax but I do think it's kind of cool to measure and keep track of how much progress I made so I will be telling you how many words I write in each vlog we're gonna do some writing today I don't even know how many words I'm at right now but we'll figure that out and I'll let you know later on in this vlog but I wanted to also give you a quick little life update or yeah, I guess life update slash a book update, which is really fun because they all kind of go hand in hand. So let me explain. It's election day right now. And I voted a couple of days ago, which was giving me a headache, not gonna lie, but it's just really interesting to me because when I first wrote this book, and if you don't know, I'm reviving a book I made back in 2019. And 2019 was also a non-election year. Was it an election year or season? Yeah. So, wait. Sorry, I'm getting like flashbacks, but yeah, I don't know why I'm not trusting my memory. But so I remember it was around 2019, 2020. That's when the campaigning in the election took place and all that stuff. And so I just thought it was kind of interesting how it's kind of like a full circle moment that I'm writing again during election season. And in case you don't know, my book is heavily related to an election year, not for president, but for mayor. And it's giving the same vibes. So I feel like I'm in my book, pretty much what I'm saying. I see the signs everywhere about who to vote for for president and senator and all these other political offices and it's just really fun for me and I feel like I'm doing almost research at the same time because when I'm looking at my ballot and seeing the things that I'm voting for locally it's really helping me draw inspiration of what I want to be prevalent in my story so just wanted to say that and it's kind of trippy like because I'm gonna be watching the election today by the time this comes out y'all will know who's the next president and currently right now I don't but we don't really have to go all into that. Anyways, also a quick little update of what I've been doing besides just writing for Nano. A lot of vlogs ago, I remember I talked about how I wanted to take you guys with me to smell some scents because I am trying my best to be very thorough, right? With these characters, I wanna know everything about them, including what they smell like, because I feel like in writing, when a character can recognize another character based on scent, it can be really helpful for the reader and make them feel like more of a person. So I did that today. I did didn't get sense for all of my characters. I really just wanted to do it for my main three characters. And I went to the men section because two of the three characters are men. And so I smelled a bunch of different scents. And the two people who I was trying to find sense for was Xander and the mayor. And so Xander, I was trying to find, I don't even know how to describe scents. Like I was trying to find something that seemed like home or seemed very light and airy or I don't know, not playful but not too too strong so i didn't find anything honestly i was trying my best to smell something and be like mm, does this smell like xander and nothing was working so i decided to shelf him and come back another time to figure out what i want him to smell like and then this is a really weird conversation if i'm being honest um the fact that i'm literally trying to find smells for people who don't exist is kind of funny but that's where we're at. But August, I did find two scents that I feel like were giving what I wanted to give. And I still can't fully describe scents, but I have one that was called Azure and it gave like fresh. Like it was like, think of a masculine fresh man. Like that's what this smelled like. And I did want him to have more of a stronger scent. And one of the scents that like when he walks into the room, you know that that's the man. So I really liked Azure. It gave more fresh. And also something I liked about this scent is because it gave like freshness, it associates well with how the FMC compares him to like a cold winter day, an icy blizzard, stuff like that. So that's what it was kind of reminding me of. And I really liked that. The next scent was another one called Spice Reserve. And I like this one because it 
it was giving just straight up strong. And I remember I tried looking up the description for these scents. Azor didn't really give me anything because I guess there's a whole bunch of different types of Azor scents. But with Spice Reserve, it said that it was an overall note of bergamot and spices. If I'm being honest, am I embarrassing myself by saying I don't really know what bergamot smells like? Anyways, um, but that's what that smelled like. But I really liked it because it just, it gave the, the smell of like when you walk into the room, you know that he's there. I'm going to see what I can work with description wise to kind of combine these two scents so then it can help bring him to life a little bit. And then my girl, Noah, she's our FMC. I couldn't find any fragrances at that store. So I just gave up and I get uncomfortable filming in public. So I might not even need to like go in person to try to find a scent that matches her because I'm more familiar with feminine scents and stuff like that but with masculine sense i don't know nothing so anyways that's what we're up to that's my quick little update anyways we're gonna get to writing and see how many words i can write before the end of this vlog because let's see when i want to get this up i like to post at least once a week right and i posted my last video five days ago so i'll give myself a day maybe two days we'll see how we'll see how i'm going and then vlog again so yeah let's write <music> since I've talked to you. It is now November 8th, so it's the eighth day of the writing month and I just have a lot on my mind. Firstly, and I don't, I don't think I talked about this in the last clip when I opened the video, but I was struggling, not gonna lie, just like a little bit mentally. Like I just felt a lot of things and we're thinking a lot of things and pretty much I just did not feel like writing i did not feel like doing anything i did not want to be on social media the book was low-key the last of my concerns and it was just because of everything i was going through and it just made me think a lot about not just this writing goal and writing challenge in specific but just any like goals that people set and how you know we can have wish for so many things and we're not really taking into account other things that could impact our goals so like if we say we want to do something like that's all fine and dandy but you never know what life Life is gonna hit us and certain things happen and that can affect your goals and stuff like that and i feel like i've always been aware of this i feel like we're all very aware of this but it's just a reminder honestly when things aren't going my way your way whatever we shouldn't take it too seriously and thankfully i wasn't really stressed about nano or just making any certain type of word count so whenever i was feeling how i was feeling not hitting a word count or not writing that day was just not on my mind if i'm being completely honest and it was the least of my concerns and that's honestly how it should be when real life stuff is happening our little goals or just things that aren't as important in the grand scheme of life shouldn't be that serious and so yeah i just wanted to briefly state that just because i feel like my first week in nano wasn't going how i thought it would and that's completely fine that was even like pre-election and i opened this vlog talking about how i have no idea who's gonna be president and now i do now you do and I know that a lot of people have been voicing their feelings about the election and I know a lot of people didn't even write during the election. I know for me personally, like I feel like I was already distancing myself from my phone and being online prior to the election, but even more so I was just like, I just am trying to disassociate and I've been reading, trying to just put my nose in a book. And that has been honestly such a good form of therapy for me to just be in another world when you don't feel like being in your own. So but all that to say also, I just feel a lot better. So I've been able to write and that's all that be role you just saw of me going to a cafe and stuff like that i am so bad at keeping track of words i think i wrote all that much though if i'm being honest i don't think i hit a thousand i think i maybe i hit maybe like 700 words when i was at the cafe but i feel like there were quality words i try my best not to go back when i'm writing to fix other chapters but when i'm noticing that it might conflict with something else then i'll go back and like do little tweaks here and there and i do think that it overall strengthened my story and it definitely helps 
so then I don't find all these plot holes later on in the future. Even though I haven't been writing every day by any means, I do think when I did write, it was good. The words were good, <laughs> I don't know. I was writing things that I'm proud of writing and I think now I'm almost 3,000 because I think the last clip I said I was like around two-ish thousand words and now I wrote about 700-ish. So. I'm just gonna round up say I'm about 3,000 words. Hopefully you guys don't care. I doubt you're all that invested in the exact words that I hit. So hopefully an estimation is fine. But yeah, I wrote about 3,000-ish words so far in Nano. And that adds up because I think I've only sat down two or three times this month to actually write. And something too that's really nice that I feel like I'm growing a lot as a writer is that I don't feel so bad leaving bad words on the page. And by bad words, I just mean like, I know that this is a very very rough sentence or first draft of what I want to happen and I'm a perfectionist I don't like putting things down or doing things that I'm not very proud of and so I feel like I'm getting better slowly and slowly with just writing whatever is coming to mind and then knowing that later on I can like revise it and like polish it up and make it better and I feel like I've always been like this where I've never treated first drafts just as a first draft even when I was in like high school and I would write papers they would say oh yeah submit your first draft and then you know you're gonna submit your final draft later on tell me what why I rarely like tweaked the first draft when I was a kid like I would spend so much time on my first draft and probably even revise within the first draft multiple times that the final draft I didn't really do all that much which I guess kind of worked out for me because these were like smallish papers so it's not like there was all that much I could have even done within them but I think that's why I have a hard time just being like okay let me just put this really bad version of what I want to happen on the page and then keep pushing but slowly but surely we're getting there and I feel like I'm just trying to be okay with that and that's nice so yeah that's pretty much what's been up i hope y'all have been doing well making sure that your mental health is mental health thing because times are crazy i don't really know if there's anything else really to say so i'm gonna come back i think tomorrow because i do plan on continuing to write tonight and then we'll just give a quick little update on what's going on and i'll let y'all know hope your nano has been great and i'll see y'all tomorrow bye now and I just finished writing I'm done for this video because I really want to get it up for you guys quick little update just so we know where we're at in the last video I finished with a little bit less than 18,000 words I rounded up I'm not really caring about the very exact word count I just like to round to keep it simple so I was about a little bit under 18,000 words now I'm at a little bit over 21,000 words that's about 4,000 words that I wrote which is pretty exciting i feel like that's not too bad especially considering everything that i talked about before i feel like the last little writing session was really good i feel like i got lots of really good words down i feel like with these writing sessions sometimes you can leave it feeling like i don't know how i feel about this it could have been hit or miss you might end up deleting it in revision type of feeling and i feel like in this last one i feel really confident about how it ended up and i am following an outline like a brief one that i wrote and it's just like bullet points of pretty much the purpose of it and what i want to happen but for the most part everything else is still very much pantsing and i thought it was really cool because in the last chapter the thing that i'm most proud of was just something that like came out of nowhere i just pants it out like that is not a that is not the technical term but i just kind of won it and i was able to make it kind of like a full circle thing and i love it when that happens i love reading chapters that have something that you read 
need you think it's like meaningless and it's not that serious and then at the end it's like oh it actually did have meaning so i really like that especially because in this last chapter i was staring at my screen a lot <laughs> like a lot of this writing session was staring at my screen because i was like i have no idea like how i want to execute and make it like have a substantial amount of words because i think right now i'm writing about at first it was like 1300 words per chapter but now i'm like at i feel like over 15,000 words about like 2000 ish words per chapter and i don't know maybe that's a little bit per chapter but i've seen people have like 9,000 words per chapter which is wild to me let me know the word count range for the chapters that you write because that is definitely not me but yeah i feel like i really enjoyed this last chapter and i think i talked about it i don't even know what video now but like switching between povs can be challenging and this was another chapter in the mmc's pov and so i find myself second guessing him a lot and probably just because he's a man and like i don't know how like a man thinks and especially the way that he is because i do want to keep a lot of him a mystery and so writing just enough in his pov so we get to know him more but like not too much in his pov is it's a balancing act i'll get there but i think that is all that i have to say for this a sweet little video i hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully in the next little writing vlog i'll have a substantial amount of words done and hopefully i can write in more days if not hopefully every day because i really want to write every day in the month of november that's the whole point for me or something that i really wanted to make a point of in this month is to write every day so hopefully from here on out that will be the case but you know if life happens it's not the end of the world it's not that serious we'll recap everything at the end of the month and also i know i talked about this a little bit as well but even if you don't start off strong to just like continue from where you are and end strong because you never know what's gonna happen and i feel like i'm mostly telling myself this because i don't know i feel just like kind of i don't know i guess maybe bad but like not in like a i'm beating myself up type of way but just like a damn that sucks kind of way you know i always try to like not dwell on things and try to just like keep it pushing but sometimes you just need to have a little reminder to yourself hopefully i will be back on instagram i did post recently which you guys should check out my little latest reel because i had a lot of fun doing that reel and hopefully i can continue to do reels in fun perspectives but before that i was posting a lot on my instagram stories and i had so much fun doing that and i hopefully will be back to doing that soon because talking to people and having polls and engaging and stuff like that is really fun for me so if you're not already following me on instagram then go ahead and do that at amina's library this has been a very weird writing vlog for me let me stop talking i hope you guys had a great little day and i'll talk to you later bye